Flip City fam, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you from my second home, the grocery store, for a really interesting video for diabetics because a lot of people think if you have diabetes, type one or type two, you really gotta sacrifice the kind of foods you love I'm gonna show you right now that you don't have to do it. Even if you have diabetes and you're doing a low carb, low sugar diabetic diet, you can eat the foods you love. It kind of reminds me of like the uh, Nutrisystem infomercials where it's like, guys, you can eat the burgers, you can eat the pizza, you can eat the ice cream. I swear, we're actually gonna do it, but we're gonna do it right. We're gonna go in the grocery store. I'm gonna show you, you can eat pizza, ice cream, chocolate, burgers, all that stuff, but you can do it on not just a diabetic, low carb diet, a clean diabetic diet. Before we do, like, subscribe, share, my friends. The only way the channel keeps growing is by you spreading that Flav City love. But I also want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link in the description box because Thrive has not only supported my channel for six years, but they have pretty much everything we're gonna talk about today and pretty much any grocery store has, but for cheaper. You save about $32 per order compared to going to the store and the box comes to your house. Plus, they have this price scanner on their app. Scan any barcode at any grocery store It'll tell you if it's cheaper on Thrive Market, which it usually is. And right now, Flav City fans are getting the hook up. When you click my link in the description box, you get 25% off your first order. You get a free gift up to $31. One of those free gifts is a bottle of best in class, Primal Kitchen Avocado Oil and Primal Kitchen Ranch. And it's 30 days risk-free. So if you don't love Thrive Market like I do, you can cancel and get your membership fee back, but at least try it and get that 25% off your first order using my link down below. Okay, friends, less talking, more shopping. Let's go do our thing in the grocery store. I have good news. You don't have to give up pizza if you're on a diabetic diet, but you can't eat the traditional pizzas or even the pizza crust you buy at the grocery store. There are a couple that stand head and shoulders above other ones, and one of them is right here. And Walmart actually has one of the best ones. It's in this section here. Boom, it's this one. This is dynamite. It's keto diabetic cauliflower foods pizza crust. It's unbelievable because the ingredients are just a few. Now I do wish the mozzarella cheese was organic, but I've never seen a pizza crust that uses that. But the cool thing about cauliflower and mozz is look at the net carbs. For a third of a crust, it's one net carb, meaning a whole pizza crust only has three net carbs. Unbelievable. Um, this is the kind of stuff you wanna get, but it's misleading, right? <laughs> this is so crazy. This is cauliflower. If you get cali power down there, this is not diabetic friendly. It looks like it is because it's a cauliflower crust, but no, this is loaded with brown rice, which is not diabetic friendly. Rice flour, cornstarch, tapioca starch, more cornstarch. This is not diabetic or keto at all. I see this one a lot. And you know what? It's not a terrible option. This is Quest Diabetic Keto Pizza. And the ingredients are actually a lot better than I thought. Uh, once again, the mozzarella cheese isn't organic. Uh, it has natural flavors and a touch of sunflower oil there. But look at the macros. I mean, that's really nice. 25 grams of total carbs minus 19 grams of fiber is six net carbs for a half a pizza. So it's not ideal, but that's when you got to say to yourself, self, would I rather have something that's low carb, diabetic approved, or something that doesn't have a touch of cruddy oil and natural flavors, uh, but has a ton of carbs that'll spike my blood sugar? Well, no, you'd rather have the keto one. So this one isn't bad either, uh, but I would go with this and make my own. Uh, the better option is too, there's one online, it's called Zero Carb Life. Uh, it's a chicken crust and it's fantastic. Hopefully they're coming out with an organic line pretty soon, um, but you can order it online. I think I'll put a link in the description box. I had it one time at Erica's house. It was phenomenal. And the good news is you don't have to give up your favorite food like pizza. You just gotta do it diabetic friendly and it's still delicious. There's a couple diabetic friendly pastas that are head and shoulders above the rest. When it comes to traditional pasta made from wheat, I would avoid that, right? It's gonna spike your blood sugar. It's not diabetic friendly. In the past, I have said that complex uh, carb pastas like this, red lentil, or they usually, oh, there it goes, chickpea pasta, like the one back there, is a better alternative because legume pastas are complex carbohydrates. They have more fiber and it won't spike your blood sugar as much, see how much fiber's in there. But that's not quite as good as you can do. If you walk over to the uh, produce section where Brad is going there right now, there's one that is head and shoulders above the rest. As soon as Brad gets back here, I'll show you it. Oh, there he is, boom. This is my go-to pasta. It is amazing. So it's called Pasta Zero by Nasoya. What makes it so diabetic and keto friendly, look at the macros. 
five grams of carbs per serving, three grams of fiber. Number one, because there's so much fiber in there, it's called a prebiotic. Prebiotics are fiber-rich foods that feed the gut bacteria in your belly, so it has that bonus. Number two, the reason why it's so rich is because it has konjac flour, which is rich in fiber. There's two servings in this whole thing, so if you eat the whole bag, which you easily can, it's four grams of net carbs. Brad, we've had this many times, right? Yes, we have. It's delicious. Just do yourself a favor. Drain it, rinse it, and then cook this in a, um, in a dry, non-stick ceramic pan for eight minutes to evaporate the water in here. Otherwise, it's gonna water down your sauce, and then you can mix it with your stir fries or whatnot. We have an amazing recipe in our new five ingredient cookbook for uh, low carb beef and noodle stir fry. It's amazing. I'll put the uh, link down below for the uh, cookbook. It's still a number one bestseller on Amazon. All the recipes are paleo. A lot of them are keto diabetic friendly and you've made it a bestseller. Um, your other option besides this is uh, to get Hearts of Palm pasta. They have um, one brand actually at Trader Joe's, which is great. They have one called Natural Heaven, which I like a little bit better. Both of those are great. And on Thrive Market, they have their version of Pasta Zero made with konjac flour. It's called the Miracle Noodle. So once again, add that to your cart when you use my link down below. Remember, you get your 25% off your first order, the free gift up to $31, and it's 30 days risk-free. So try that out. But Brad, we have to warn everyone, if you're gonna have your pasta, careful of the sauce, because a lot of lower quality sauces can have added sugar. So I look at something like a prego here, prego, mother nona's making the sauce. Uh, no nona's making this sauce, right? This one here has sugar and canola oil, which is inflammatory, which is actually really bad for people with diabetes. It has two grams of added sugar per serving a half a cup. Well, it's not a lot, right? Two grams is still half a uh, teaspoon of sugar. Avoid these. You guys know I love something like Rayos. I usually get it at, pa at uh, Costco. But the good news is you can eat your pasta like Brad is holding right there, and you can do it on a diabetic diet. Coffee drinks and Dunkin', right? America runs on it. That is like the best marketing slogan of all time. You have to be crazy careful with any kind of prepared latte like this. I don't care if it's Dunkin', I don't care if it's Starbucks or anyone. These are scary when it comes to added sugar, and you easily will drink all this. So look at this. The ingredients are simple, right? It's coffee, skim milk, sugar, and a couple of preservatives. My friends, this bottle has 29 grams of added sugar. Can we break that down for a second? There's four grams of sugar in a teaspoon. So there's just over seven bread. There's seven plus teaspoons of cane sugar in here. When you drink that much sugar in your latte, it's a diabetes nightmare. That is crazy, my friends. You really gotta examine this kind of stuff because people love their coffee and America supposedly runs on it. Um, so what do you do? Well, um, here at the store, here's one option. This is actually a diabetic and keto friendly coffee drink. It's the version of uh, Dunkin', but done much better. This is super coffee. It's nice to see it at Walmart so everyone has access to it. And while the ingredients are not perfect, right? The milk protein is not organic, okay. It's got natural flavors a couple times. That to me is okay because look at this. There are zero grams of added sugar compared to 29. And the net carbs here are two for the whole bottle. So once again, I'd rather you have the non-organic whey and the natural flavors instead of gobs and gobs of sugar that will put you into a diabetic coma for God's sakes, right? So this is one brand that you can find. But an even better option is in my Bobby Approved bag here. Where is it? Boom, this one. This is probably one of the cleanest prepared latte drinks, because look at this. This is the mocha flavor. And what's amazing is that it's made with grass-fed collagen. You guys know I love collagen. It does have natural flavors here, but it has grass-fed butter, real cocoa, sweetened with monk fruit, and it has the MCTs, which is really good for energy and brain health. Look at this. It's 10 carbs minus the erythritol. It's six grams of net carbs here. This is unbelievable. This is the kind of stuff you want. Let's see, we're gonna do a Flav City real-time taste test here. You guys know I usually drink coffee on the weekends. Today is Friday. I usually have my Laird Superfood, but... Wow, that's really good. Brad doesn't really drink coffee, but that is fantastic. You could also get the Laird Superfood unsweetened Insta-Fuel and add hot water to this, but you do have options, right? This is from Whole Foods. The Walmart option here, but man, this is really, really good. The weekend's starting early, baby. Cheers. What does Kramer say from Seinfeld? Here's to feeling good all the time. Giving up chocolate just because you have diabetes? Heck.
Heck no, you don't have to do that. Uh, before I get there though, another Seinfeld reference. I see Junior Mint, reminds me of Kramer once again during the surgery. It's chocolate, it's mint, it's delicious. I actually used to love Junior Mint back in the old days. Um, but here's the deal. There's certain chocolates you can't have and you can't have. I think we all know that if you're gonna have milk chocolate, number one, it's just candy. It's not real chocolate. The amount of sugar is gonna be too high. But here's the deal. Even if you get dark chocolate, which has less sugar, it's still, in my opinion, not diabetic friendly because they still add more sugar. These are big blocks here, but 19 grams of added sugar per three blocks. If you eat the three blocks, which you easily could, you're having over just, just about five teaspoons of sugar. So what does that mean? It means you're gonna put these back. I'm gonna show you some really good and some really bad sugar-free chocolate options. So unfortunately here at Walmart, they have the bad. I've talked about this in the past. A lot of people gravitate towards these and yes, this brand is technically diabetic friendly, but if, unless you want your stomach to be painting, you don't want to get this because they use the sweetener of Maltitol. Maltitol once, Maltitol twice, Maltitol thrice, you're out of there, right? Maltitol is the sugar alcohol that can be really disruptive to your gut. When you have a trifecta of that, you're going to poop your pants. You just are, okay? It's, it's a, that's a fact. Um, and then you have palm oil. You have artificial flavors, red number 40. Oh, that's, that's Brad's favorite, num red number 40. And just to top it off there, a little bit of yellow number five. So you don't want to do that. And this is a new one though. We just saw this, what? Reese's Zero Sugar. And Brad told me they have Reese's Peanut Butter Organic Cups now too, I never heard of that. But Zero Sugar, how do they do it? Once again, with the poop inducing maltitol but they also put the palm oil in there, artificial flavors, sucralose, which is Splenda, that's a no-no. So what I would do is uh, Lily's, right, has uh, chocolate bars that are really nice. If you're a Walmart shopper, excuse us, they have this brand here, which is like uh, Lily's chocolate chips, but these are no added sugar diabetic chocolate chips that are really nice. But in the old Flav City bag here, this is like, gonna be a new thing coming to uh, all halls, is the most amazing, where is it? I hope I didn't forget it, is it in there? Okay, there we go. This, Brad, show that. This is a keto cup. Think about a Reese's peanut butter cup. This actually tastes better. Show the ingredients, Brad. Insane in the membrane. Look at this. Wow, keto, diabetic friendly, clean as can be. Servings per container, two. So one cup only has two net carbs made with best in class ingredients. Brad cracked it open. He's going to give you a little taste test. Um, Lily's has that version too. They're not quite as clean. They do have some palm oil in there, but still it's better than the Maltitol and stuff. You can get that on Thrive Market, but this, and it's actually on sale right now at Whole Foods because uh, Thrive Market doesn't have it. Cheers. This is what you want. Show the middle. I was gonna say show the middle. <laughs> eat another one. There's two in there. You have to eat two now, Brad. <laughs> well, Brad's inhaling it. I'm like, take a bite and show us the texture, Brad. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. This is the flavor you want to get, the hazelnut. It is loco. Um, so you can do chocolate. Chocolate bars are also made by um, Keto Cups uh, or Lilies. Just stevia sweetened ones or monk fruit ones. Just put down the stuff that actually has the cane sugar. Put down the stuff that has the fake sugar. That's going to make you poop in your pants. And do like Brad. Crush like nobody's business the good stuff. All right, Brad and I are wondering, why is this even allowed? Oreo cereal. I mean, come on. You're going to start your day with a bowl of Oreos. That is totally crazy. As our buddy, uh, Sebastian Maniscalco would say, <laughs> why would you do that? That's crazy. And of course, 99.9% .9 of cereals are out, but there are a couple keto cereals on the market that are op obviously better than these options. The one I get questions about all the time is Magic Spoon or Catalina Crunch. And while those are keto and diabetic friendly, they're not ideal because they do have natural flavors. They do tend to have um, whey that's non-organic and they do have processed oils like sunflower oil. But still, that's better than this. But one of my favorite things of all time I brought with me here in my Bobby approved bag is this. Thrive Market has these keto paleo coconut flakes. This tastes like crunchy coconut meat because, look at the ingredients, it's organic coconut meat organic coconut water, and then palm starch. That's not palm oil, it's palm starch. And it only has 14 grams of net carbs minus five grams of fiber, nine grams of net carbs per half cup. This literally does taste like crispy coconut cereal. And this is what probably the cleanest cereal on the market. I've talked about it so much 
It's temporarily sold out on Thrive Market. So what you want to do, click my link in the description box. You'll get your 25% off your first order, your free gift. Add this to the remind me list, like Carrie Underwood, remind me. As soon as it comes back in stock, I'm going to get it because I'm almost out. Get this. It is dynamite and better than all this junk stuff here. Uh, Brad and I were just saying you can't have cereal without milk and milk can really sneak up on the amount of natural sugar. Check this out right here. This is very interesting. So pretty much any milk you pick up is going to have natural sugar here. But if you're diabetic, you got to think about that. So this is whole milk here. And if we look at the nutrition facts, there's obviously zero grams of added sugar, but there's 11 grams of natural sugar per one cup. 11 grams is just shy of three teaspoons of natural sugar. Sugar, sugar. If you're on a low sugar and a diabetic diet, I would highly encourage you to swap out, excuse me, there we go, swap out the milk with alternative milks. We have videos about this. My favorite is almond milk because when you look at unsweetened almond milk, make sure it's unsweetened. Look at that. There's no natural sugar and there's no added sugar. This is the kind of stuff you want to get, but be careful. It's got to say unsweetened and I would get unflavored too. Don't bother getting the vanilla because if you pick up a vanilla one that doesn't say unsweet, you have a redonkulous amount of sugar. 13 grams is just over three teaspoons per cup. So here you are, right? You're like, I'm making the healthy choice to drink almond milk. You get a cup of this, you drink it, you put it in your cereal. You just had over three teaspoons of added sugar. It's loco en la cabeza. That's crazy. Now, that being said, it still has a ton of emulsifiers. Um, my two favorite uh, milks for shelf-stable almond milk are Thrive Market and Elmhurst. They're both great. Once again, use my Thrive link down below. Get those and then watch my video about there's no almonds in your almond milk because most almond milk like this is just emulsifiers, oils, and gums. And it's a waste of your money. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. And the cool thing is, diabetic approved ice cream is available nationwide now. But let, let me just show you how scary the amount of sugar can be in some ice cream. Listen, I, I want to indulge in ice cream once in a while. You guys see me on Instagram stories eating my favorite dairy-free ice cream every night. But this is a traditional ice cream a lot of people love. And I'm okay indulging, but when there's 28 grams of added sugar per two-third cup, my friends, that is seven additional teaspoons, teaspoons, think about that, of sugar per serving. I'm sorry, even if you're not diabetic or on a low carb diet, I wouldn't eat this because this is ice cream that is basically with a side of diabetes, type two diabetes, but in my opinion, that's what it is. So what do you want to do? You want to go for low carb keto ice cream. Even if you're not low carb or keto, I would go for this kind of ice cream because you don't want that much sugar. This is one of the brands available pretty much everywhere. And this is one of the better ones. Rebel, it's five net carb ice cream. How do they do that? Because they're not using sugar and they're not using bad, fake sugar. They're sweetening this with erythritol and monk fruit. And the rest of the ingredients are actually pretty solid. It has natural flavor, but honestly, almost all ice cream has natural flavor. What's going on? Hold on, we got a disturbance here at Walmart. Back to our regular scheduled programming. Um, so this is the kind of ice cream I would get. Halo Top also is not quite as low carb, but it's pretty darn close. Look, 21 minus six is 15, minus the sugar alcohol is eight net carbs. Uh, sometimes they have it, but I don't see it. So delicious, makes a dairy-free, no added sugar one. That's really nice too. So even if you're not diabetic or keto, go for the no added sugar ice creams. Just make sure that it's the proper sugar because something like Carb Smart here is low carb and it is cheaper than the ones I just showed you. But the way they do it is not good because look, they're using the sugar that you don't want, sucralose or Splenda. And it has nasty preservatives in there like mono and diglycerides. And it has maltitol as the primary sugar-free sweetener, which is the really devastating one for your gut. So stay away from those and get the other ones I talked about. And the good news is they're available everywhere. Are we safe okay, Brad? Yeah. We're in the clear for now. Let's carry on. Uh, Bradley and I are reminiscing about the old days. Oh, my mom used to buy this for us, the Thomas English muffins, and like toast them all up and put lots of butter. Country crock, actually, because remember back in the 80s, this is before Brad's days, they vilified butter. So we'd have like uh, margarine, which turns out was way worse for you. And you put it all over that. Oh man, that was good stuff. But uh, this aisle is very tricky. Let's talk about tortillas. 
hamburger buns, and bagels. Uh, tortillas can be a carb bomb, whether they're corn or wheat. But there are some low-carb options, like here at Walmart, they have these Mission Carb Balance. Now, it's not ideal because even though it's low-carb, if you look at the ingredients, they're using some pretty cruddy uh, stuff like shortening. There's hydrogenated GMO soybean oil. There's also Splenda sucralose and a lot of preservatives here. So um, obviously that's better than like a regular carby tortilla, but there's two really good options on the market. Um, there's coconut tortillas or coconut wraps. Thrive Market makes a fantastic one. They're currently sold out again because I was talking about it. But if you click my link down below for that discount of 25% off your first order, the coconut wraps are fantastic. Or there's a new one that just came out that is best in class keto almond tortilla from Maria and Ricardo. Uh, they're sold out completely on Amazon right now. They're pricey, I think, but they're really, really great. Otherwise, your other option is that. And to be honest, you probably still want to have that instead of the carb ones because it's going to spike your blood sugar like nobody's business. Um, when it comes to hamburger buns, though, there really is nothing on the market that is low carb and diabetic approved. What I would do is get the cauliflower thins. If you follow me on Flav City Instagram stories, which I hope you do, we show tons of recipes and what I make for dinner every night. We get outer aisle cauliflower thins, or if you live by a Trader Joe's, they have their own version of cauliflower thins. They're cauliflower, a little bit of Parmesan cheese and egg. I use them as a sandwich thin or a bun. They're unbelievable. They're one net carb and they're really, really great. Way better than any kind of bun, gluten-free, keto or whatnot. And last but not least, bagels. Maybe the toughest of all. What do you think about diabetic bagels? Pretty tough, huh? Very tough. Very tough. So there's really nothing at the store here. The only ones I know is from a taste test of an Amazon snack haul I did a long time ago. I think it's Julian Bakery Thin Slim. They're very low carb. It does have gluten and grain, which I don't love when you're trying to do like a low carb diet. But besides that, I think Unbun makes a bagel, which I haven't tried yet. So that's tough. If you know any suggestions, please leave comments down below. Sharing is caring. But when it comes to hamburger buns, get the cauliflower thins. When it comes to tortillas, if you have to be at a Walmart, I would get the Mission. Otherwise, get those uh, Thrive Market ones or the uh, Maria Ricardo ones. All right, family, that is it for the diabetic food review. Just because you're on a diabetic diet, you don't have to give up the foods you love, which is great news. You just have to know what to swap them with because there are other swaps that are diabetic friendly, but they're not made with ingredients that are good for you. But now you know how to read labels and put the best quality stuff in your body. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this, let us know. We have other kind of like health issue ideas going. We have personal care stuff going, but leave a comment down below. Also on the community section of my channel, I have a question pinned there. What kind of videos do you want to see? You're the best source of inspiration, so check that out. Um, also, check out Thrive Market using my promo link down below. You guys know I love Thrive. Get the 25% off your first order. Get the free gift up to $31, and it's 30 days risk-free. You're going to love it. Uh, but that is it. Like, subscribe, share. It's the only way the channel keeps growing. But for Bradley P., Desi, Baba Donnie, Rose, the whole team, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.